right there with the glasses. Yes, uh, but, but leading into that, I just want to say this group of women, this group of white women right here, they, they need to be commended. And um, it's, it's amazing what you all have done. Uh, you have created the first step for us as descendants, you know, for this whole situation you created the first step toward healing, uh, which is recognition. You know, people just want you to, to say yes, it happened. Mm -hmm. And that marker, and those of you all who have not seen the marker, you can pull it up, make the, the trip up there to see it and read it. it it's amazing. It acknowledges that uh, land was taken, stolen from people. It acknowledges that a human person was hung here on this site. And, and so that's the first step toward healing on either side. Mm -hmm. On either side is the acknowledgement. And I, I wanna mention this. Uh, when I spoke at the unveiling of uh, the marker, um, two things that I said is that um, the, the, the story has to keep being told. But at the end, I asked white people, I addressed white people, and I was in for sight of and I said, look, you white people, this is on you. You're gonna be the change. When you talk to your fellow white person and you tell them what your thoughts are, your feelings that this was wrong, that's the step toward a change. You all have to carry the message to other white people. When uh, the protest started over George Floyd, and I, I think he was the main one at the time, and and uh, I'm, I'm drawing a blank, but the young gentleman, um, the trial that's happening right now. Thank you. When when the protest started, and it was 90% black. You know, the, the, the system, the administrations, the white people, they said, oh, you know, it's just another march. It'll be over in, in a few days. Let them go, it'll be over. And then you started to see the color of the protest change. It, it got colorful. The diversity was there. The white people came. And then it was 50% black and 50% white. And then it changed again. And, and toward the end there, the, the protests were predominantly white. And that's when the system sat back and said, you know what, maybe we do have to do something. So my point is, they didn't listen to us for years and years and years. They cared nothing about what we thought. But when white people started to speak against this and white people started to march against this, that's when they listen. So it's on you. I'm sorry to put this on you, but it's on you. Thank you.